here's some keys to website design for small and medium businesses. One important tip is to have some kind of auto-playing video that very much encapsulates the type of work, the type of business, the service offered by your company. I do this without audio, so it's unobtrusive, and we can get the video lightweight and flexible, and so this is a really powerful tool. Here's another company here. We produce this new own video showing the home services provided by this particular company and a lot of different shots at uh, one client site. This 30 to 45 second clip auto loops immediately upon loading on the home page and actually does not load on mobile because videos don't auto play like this on mobile. So that's one important tip. Another uh, element that's, that's huge these days is the sticky header. So if you see my cursor here at the top, this is the company logo. This is a very, very common in uh, stylish design now to have a rectangular version of the logo in the top left. And then the top menu navigation items here at the top. And the sticky header means that the header stays with the visitor as they scroll down so that they can instantly decide to jump to a particular place the logo would return them to the home page if they work on the home page. So I almost always recommend a sticky header for folks that I work with. Here's a sticky header here. Sometimes it will remain the same size. Other times it will compact down as it rolls. So you can see that there. And so here, here's a major news site, BuzzFeed, one of the top sites in the world. And you can see how the header remains. It doesn't compact at all. Let's try this home service company. You can see how the header is sticky, and I really do like this. They've got a dual layer header, so the top layer has the logo, important custom items here uh, with, with relevant icons, phone number, operating hours, information about pricing or financing, and a link to their job or career site. So, very relevant. They can grab people right here. Some of these are hyperlinks to go up other places. And then a call to action button at the top is really wonderful because oftentimes people are ready to go and initiate service, fill out a request, start the conversation. And so why not give them as many opportunities as possible? So I like this as well. This is a nice, what we call hero image takes up the full width of the screen, occupies a big portion of the real estate above the fold, and really encapsulates the totality of the company's services. Again, there's a nice call to action button there. If, uh, in fact, this will probably bring up a, so this will bring up my default phone application since I'm on desktop, and if I was on mobile, it would it would tee up that feature, so it's great to have that kind of tool on mobile. I'll show you a few things. This is a little cluttered. I mean, obviously, this is this is a major news media tech site, but they've got a sidebar, got a lot of different articles, and so there's a lot of opportunities for people to to jump into something. Here's an ad here on the right. So, if I was working with BuzzFeed, I would actually suggest decluttering this a little bit, but they're providing a lot of tools and a lot of opportunities. And look how far down I can scroll here. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. I really like to have a lot of content that can be scrolled on one page so that someone doesn't have to click on a separate page, which requires a load and a, re a quick reset. So I like to have a lot of information available for people to scroll down and see. So here, for example, there's a video about a particular process, a lot of posts are, can be, can be linked to on the homepage. Of course, someone can click on the blog page and see all the blog posts. So information about the leadership, the video, welcome videos. So there's a lot of key services, blog posts an opportunity for someone to sign up for a newsletter, information about upcoming events, really wonderful to have logos, 
of clients or partners displayed, those can actually be linked to their websites. And that's something that uh, they ought to appreciate giving them a backlink and other way to work. And then a really helpful and thorough Twitter with the logo again, social networks. I really enjoyed LL Bean, the outdoor retailers, footer. I mean, so look, this is something that sets apart a very basic site from a more major or thoughtful site. Here they actually have some custom icons. They've got uh, an image of Maine and home state, some personality here, a button for somebody who might like to track that order, an opportunity for someone to jump onto the email list if they haven't already. Towards the top of the site, social media links, and then a very nice array of site links organized by category. Guarantees, shipping, discounts, stores and events, explore the outdoors. And so look at how much information they have. They, there's a PayPal logo, let, let people know they uh, accept PayPal. On that. So one way to have a, a, a really high level site is to build out the footer, believe it or not. Just have a great header. Now look, they've got a multi-layer header here. This is the primary nav menu. The drop downs can direct people to specific product types. Of course, this is an e-commerce site. They've got a shopping bag area, a search tool, which is a wonderful addition to a website. This is an announcement bar up here. It can be changed and edited. You can see they've got They've got a promo you know, happening ending today. It's code, so it's a great, that's, using tools like announcement bars are great ways to get people uh, to, to take some kind of response on your site. So those are some key design elements for small to medium businesses to consider as they're building or upgrading their website. Thank you.